Chief, dog, you gotta wait. I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company.
What the fuck is going on out here? They're throwing everything they got at us! And if we can take this, they'll have nothing left! Help me, you assholes! I'm in the shit! Taking them out! We'll get through this! You're dying for, bud! We're looking okay! Let's regroup with the main set of doors! Huh. Uh oh. What's up? Huh? What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned uh -oh. again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just got to silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang! 
And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right. We made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please. These pair of bitches. Hey! Lamar and Franklin send their best! Hey man, he clapped fresh, man. Get him! Clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who janked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame drive? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Help me! City of scumbags. of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. Christ! <laughs> Stop! Cut! <laughs> Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. <laughs> this ain't right! Close down the area! Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. Your the FIB agent, and you 
we've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a electric. Result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you. Oh my God! The guy, what's his name? He shot him. That was insane. What was her name again? Man, what the fuck do people around here look like? <laughs> yeah. So, how about you later? Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey-ho! Who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so he can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least.
You can't hide forever! Oh shit! Good job! job. I'm getting kind of bored of killing you, pricks! Eat this! Grab that son of a bitch! Damn it! Loser! Come, sit! I'm a walk in combat situation, assholes! We're receiving fire! Ah! Burn down! Fuck you! Go in for the I'll kill! I'll find you! You fucking pussy! Got a combat! Definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious. Like humans, but I know you're a reptile. We got a cop set. Protect DW. Ugh. How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was. Attack is on! Defend! Get the positions! I'm getting kind of bored of killing you, pricks! Get me out of this shit! 
I'm here for you! Let's earn our paycheck! Protect DW! I need a chopper here, right now! Tell Don Percival to fuck himself! Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious high school issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. 
All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, our fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak. Have you given you money to grow? I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're over! Stop right now! My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. You don't want me as an enemy. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. People want to kill you. You won't shut up. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time. Good tea? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. 
Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it, so does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.